168 years after its construction, the historic Cedar Grove Inn in Vicksburg, Mississippi, offers its guests more than just great food, luxurious accommodations, and history through every door. On this night before Halloween, the sometimes tragic lives of its previous owners are remembered with special tours led by the original lady of the house, Elizabeth Klein. Three of my children died during infancy, which then was common. My youngest son was born during the siege of Vicksburg. My house was only spared from burning because of the relationship I had to a famous General William T. Sherman, who was an uncle by marriage. He agreed to protect my home if I allow him to use it as a hospital. At six months pregnant, he moved me to our plantation north of here where I gave birth to a son I named William. Willie, as we called him. To come to Sherman Klein in honor of my merciful uncle. But my neighbors in Vicksburg were hostile towards me and my son on our arrival to the city. They told me that he would be cursed because I named him after him. But I was proud to prove them wrong as he grew into a handsome, intelligent young man. But one day, he went hunting with a neighborhood friend. And when they came back, they sat under a magnolia tree that once was planted here. His friend tried to get up with pistol in hand and accidentally triggered the gun, hitting my young Willie in the chest. He managed to make it halfway up this iron staircase where he stumbled to his death at the base of the stairs. My husband never overcame his grief and I draped myself in black the rest of my days. Willie has been seen at the foot of this iron staircase many times throughout the years and employees and guests recount hearing someone falling down the stairs with a loud noise usually in the middle of the day. Of course, no one is there. Willie's is just one of the ghost stories associated with Cedar Grove. Several other deaths occurred in the house and its basement served as a makeshift morgue during the Civil War. One guest, wishing not to speak publicly, tells of his experience in the house. Well, we stayed in the Queen Victoria room, which is right on the back porch uh, to the left. And we did not know about the ghost. Uh, before we went to bed, I uh, heard some kids playing in the hallway around the stairwell. And I uh, also said that you know, I couldn't believe somebody was letting their kids play around out there, you know, with all the antiques in the house. And, uh, so we were next, you know, next day we get up, go home. About five years later, she gives me a haunted house book, and uh, and I'm reading through it, and I come across, and it has Cedar Grove in it. And as I read the story, one of the stories was about hearing the kids play around in the you know hallway and stuff. So that's when I realized that you know I did experience something here. Would you stay here again? Oh yeah, yeah. Why'd you come tonight? Uh, just, just a tour of the house at night. Several ghost trackers have wandered through this house and they all seem to agree this room has the most activity. And the tour, although scary, a tad bit scary, it was more the historic part and the mansion itself, the whole, um, oh my gosh, the historic meaning of this mansion that brought my heart. It just took my heart. It was fantastic. To learn more about the historic Cedar Grove Inn and the annual ghost tours, go to cedargroveinn.com.